Are you recording? Yes. Okay. So it's like this that almost all European languages have, have the word isolation or some similar word. In Spanish, aislamiento. In Polish, it's something similar. And they all come from the, la the Latin word isola, which, which means island. But this is not the word in, in Icelandic. Uh, it would be, I was thinking, it would be uh, useless to have a have a word for something as something as natural as living in an island when you live in an island. Let's let's do some pictures. Takamintir. Takamintir. What do you feel about isolation now? After we've been to all those places and visited all those people, do you feel the same? <laughs> You must have enough, buy enough. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At first you you always took the pictures uh, that I would never not have taken. And you never took the pictures that I would have taken. Icelandic the word is Einangrun, which is made up of two words, Ein, which means one, and Angrun, which means sorrow. So it's literally the sorrow of, of being alone. I'm, I'm not sure this is exactly the same meaning as, as isolation, where it's a bit stronger. Isolation simply means uh, being apart. You never travel as a tourist or as an outsider in your own country, so I've gotten to know this country better. And, uh, and also I've visited places that I've never been to. Intellectual discussion. <laughs> I don't really think Icelanders consider themselves isolated, although they live on an island and are and are literally isolated. <laughs> 